experience, I fucking got one. You defeated Poe the ghost. Do you want to catch it in a bottle? Yes. You got a big Poe. Okay. Um, I was wandering around, wandering around Hyrule Field. Um, I don't exactly know how the big Poes work. But, um, you know what? <clears throat> we got a lot of side stuff to do in the game before we get to the next dungeon, so, um, I'd say that we do the big pose stuff now. Um, yeah. Because I think the, the, yeah, the big pose looks slightly different. They've got, like, a pointy head. This is a regular Poe over here that I killed, and it did not have a pointy head. It's a regular ass Poe. And then when I caught it, I said it was a big Poe when I killed the pointy head one, so. Yeah, okay. Got it. Get off, Epona. What is happening? Thank you. Okay, nice. I gotta use a fairy. Yeah. Okay. So I got it right. Okay, so I have to be on Epona every time I find one of these things. Cool. Oh, this is gonna be a piece of cake. This episode's gonna be great. Hell yeah. Yes, I would like to catch it in a bottle. Okay, time to go to the ghost shop and sell this shit. Aha. Oh, you brought a Poe today. Hmm. Very interesting. This is a big Poe. I'll buy it for 50 rupees. On top of that, I'll put 100 points in your card. If you earn 1,000 points, you'll be a happy man. Um, you know, that... Coming from you, I don't, I don't know if I want to do that, but alright. No, fuck! No, no, fuck! Okay, we're good. <laughs> you can drink the pose. And they heal you and re restore your magic a bit. And I thought I just accidentally drank that one. But I don't think you can actually drink big pose, so we're good. Oh, you brought a big po. Yeah, it's very interesting. There's a big po. 50 rupees, 100 points on your card. Yeah, okay. Right then. I know where one more po is, and then we gotta go looking for some stuff. And I think I want to spend these rupees once I get my third po. Or I could do it now, I think. I don't actually know. No, I, I think I can get it now. Whatever, I'm, I want to get this last Poe real quick. It's... You gotta ride under here. These things are like Koroks. There we go. I don't know how... I mean, I, I do know how you're supposed to find these. It was the 90s. You're supposed to, you know, play it when you get home from school and then find a thing and then go to school and then add it to the community binder of secrets in Ocarina of Time and what have you. Alright, nice. Brought a big po. I should get my timer, because I haven't been timing this. 50 rupees and the, the 100 points, what have you. I'm back. Yes, I know I'll be a happy man. Um, weird noise time. There we go. Yes, hit your stick on the thing. Don't quote me on that. Okay, right. I'm gonna work my way around then. Alright. But first, I have rupees that I want to spend on something, so we'll go do that real quick. I bet you can guess what it is. I mentioned it in the uh, episode. Um, I think it was It's Hot. It was, or no, it was It's Cold. At the end of It's Cold, I mentioned it. I just edited all those videos, by the way. I, I like recorded all of them um, pretty sequentially, uh, and then I just like took two weeks off and edited them. So... You know, it looks like pretty consistent uploads, but I, uh, it's really just recording a whole lot and then ed editing a whole lot. So, anyway, I promised I was going to do this, but I just uh, didn't. Oh no, we're getting interrupted by a cutscene, as if I didn't plan this. <laughs> yep, Kakariko Village is on fire. At least one house is. The house of Skeletal is not good for me. Oh no, good. Oh, okay, yeah. Everything is on fire. But it can only render like one burning house at a time. Hey, Sheik. Just imagine everything's on fire. 
Get back, not a zero. <laughs> I love this. That's <laughs> so cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm dead. Oh. Looks like you're coming around. I am. <laughs> Terrible thing has happened. The evil shadow spirit has been released. Impa, the leader of the Kokiro village. Kakariko. Kokiro? That's a new, that's a new low. <laughs> For my reading ability. Uh, the leader of Kakariko village has sealed the evil shadow spirit in the bottom of the well. But the force of evil, uh, the force of the evil spirit, uh, got so strong the seal of the well broke, and it escaped into the world. Oh, so that's what that thing was. It was a seal. It's cool. I believe Impa has gone to the Shadow Temple to seal it again, but she will be in danger without any help. Not a zero. Impa is one of the six sages. Destroy the evil spirit and save Impa. There is an entrance to the Shadow Temple beneath the graveyard behind this village. Only thing I can do for you is teach you the melody that will lead you to the Shadow Temple. This is the melody that will draw you into the infinite darkness that absorbs even time. Listen to this, the Nocturne of Shadow. That was, I, just like every Sheik scene, that it was really well done. <laughs> You've learned the Nocturne of Shadow. <clears throat> Let me take care of the village. I'm counting on you, Nick. Not a zero. As am I on you. Nailed it. Protect the village and then just teleports away. Okay. Uh, yeah, anyway, what we're actually doing is we're going up to Goron City. Uh... <laughs> Well, we'll get back to the Shadow Temple. Uh, I want to do like three things. Two or... Yeah, three, maybe three or four things um, before going to the Shadow Temple. I didn't even use my timer. I've just got the map open. Okay, here we are. We're back at this dude. Yes, I will. All right, we can buy another Giant's Knife. So the first time you take the Giant's Knife... It can take this many hits before breaking. The second time it can take this many hits. And the third time it can take this many hits. And I believe it continues with this many hits uh, until... Well, it just continues that forever. So, yeah. You have to buy it three times in order to max out its durability. Um, and it's still not great. So, anyway. I just wanted the giant's knife. Um, right. Back to um, finding big pose, I guess. Also, Kakariko Village is now just constantly in rain uh, until we beat the Shadow Temple. So, it's going to be very wet here. I'll just let that happen. I mean, there's no fire anymore. There you go. Automatic fire suppression system. I'm a genius. I'm just going to let it keep smoldering um, for maybe an hour. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Killed a big Poe. 
Um, not the one I was going for, but I did just come from um, Kokiri Forest with more arrows. So, God, mm, the the horse controls in this game are not great. There you are. Gotcha, motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> that's... Yeah, that's number three, even though that will, I think, technically be four or five that we just did. Yeah, I think that this will be five. Alright, we finally fucking got one. Oh my god. Future me, cut out, like, all those attempts. I don't care if you did, like, put them in. I just, like, do go back, delete them. Oh my god. That was horrible. Um, alright, that, yeah, that's one. Time to fucking... Ah, uh, time to get five. Oh, there we fucking go. That's number four, I think. Oh my god, okay. I mean, like, it's number four on this map I'm using. It's number seven in reality. Um, like, that's the seventh one we caught. So, I think the only ones left are five, six, and nine. And there's another Poe right here. Gotcha, motherfucker! Oh my god, thank god the Poe Lanterns dropped to the ground, because this would be horrible if they didn't. Okay. Nice. Alright, now we just gotta catch either eight or five, and then we're gonna be done. They, they run into walls, like, deliberately, and then despawn as a result. Alright, there we fucking, we got one! Ah... <sighs> Now we just gotta go for eight. Alright, nice. Which we're not even sure is the one we're missing, but I remember getting all the others very distinctly. So, gotta go for eight. Wait, this one has one in a different spot. There's a Poe here. Oh my fucking god. Really? That map was just wrong. Oh my fucking god. Alright. That's the worst thing. I mean, it's not the worst thing, but it's like... That's a thing that's really annoying. Is it... Just like people are like, ah, it's good enough. We don't need to update the walkthrough. It's fine. Everyone knows how to play this game. They just expect you to know what to do. That's... Like, a walkthrough should never expect you to know what to do. That's the point of a walkthrough. You go to those and you're like, I don't know what the fuck to do. Ugh. Use the Mega Ten Hammer. Go fuck yourself. Oh my god, now we got an item that was not worth getting. <laughs> oh my god. We got there in the end. At the end of the day, it happened. Can't fucking believe this game. Th that walkthrough. This game is fine. The game is fine. It's it's the people. Yeah, very interesting. It's a big po, yeah. This game has been out since 98. That's 22 years. These people had 22 years to update their fucking walkthrough. <laughs> and they didn't. Uh, because of you, I have extra inventory of big pose, so this will be the last time I can buy a ghost. You're thinking about what I promised uh, would happen when you earned a thousand points. I don't like where you're going with this. Don't worry, I didn't forget. Just take this. Yay! We got the fourth empty bottle. 
This is the point where if this game was on Steam, you'd get the achievement that like only 0.2% of people have because... Oh my god. Okay. Ugh. It's... Because it's it's such a fucking... That's a terrible trade. <laughs> like... So much work for such a little thing that we're never gonna use, like... Well, when are we gonna go down four times in a row? It's just... It's just not happening. Okay. What we're actually going to do now is we are going to... Sorry, that was... That was the beginning of the episode. Which I think I'm gonna edit down to like 10 minutes. Future me, figure out how to edit that down to like 10 minutes. Alright, um... Then I'm just gonna... Can I add... Whatever, I can just go to the timer and then... Not label. Why would I edit the label on a timer? In the next 20 minutes, my plan is to complete this side quest. It's not my favorite side quest, but it is the longest side quest in the game. Um, and you get a much better item than a fucking bottle. Okay, okay we are in Kokiri Forest for one big reason. Because we are finally using Kojiro, our longtime companion that I bet you forgot about. Um, yeah. No response, he's sleeping. So this, I believe, is the brother of the Kako lady, so the owner of Kojiro. Kojiro? Why? Normally, only a nice guy like me can tame you. Which means, you, you must be a nice guy. Must be. You must be. Please, Mr. Nice Guy, please. Deliver this stuff to the old hag in the potion shop in Kakariko Village. This, uh, this will disappear if you take too long. So, you gotta hurry. Okay. You got an odd mushroom. A fresh mushroom like this uh, is sure to spoil quickly. Take it to the Kakariko Potion Shop. Quickly. So we have three minutes to get it to Kakariko Potion Shop. Which, um... I don't know if we've ever actually been to. Because I forgot to go there. But I... Do we have enough rupees? Yes, we do. Wow. Okay, so cool. We can... We can multitask here. Because we gotta bring this to the potion shop. And I know where that is. And while we're in the potion shop, we can get potions. Um... I don't know if we can get potions. But we can at least get one. Um... Something to break in the new bottle with. Anyway. Okay. Oh, fuck. And the only way to get there, like, fast enough for the thing not to spoil is to get there with Epona. Let's just hope it doesn't reach daytime, because we need it... Or, nighttime, because we need it to be daytime in order to get to the potion shop. I can just play the sun song, I think. Also, if you, um... There are a number of items that spoil after a time, so if you... Um, use a, um, a warping, um, melody, that one. If you, yeah, if you use, use a song to warp to where you're trying to go, it spoils instantly. So you have to go there on foot. Why? 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 Why does opponent do that? <laughs> you can't stop her from doing that. Okay. <sighs> okay, yeah, it is still daytime, so we're good. <laughs> if you've played this game enough, you know that, um, no, you don't have to be here at daytime. Um, but, uh, yes, you do. Because what the fuck are you talking about? Of course you do. Because you go in here, and that's how you get back here. Go through there. There's, like, some other method. Uh, there's another method that you use when it's nighttime. You just, like, you know, very carefully position yourself on a hill back there, and then long shot onto the roof. Um... Anyway, got here, minute and a half to spare, we're good. Oh, fuck off. Also, this looks much better than the 3DS version, it's got like twice as much shit. Sniff, sniff, sniff. What a mysterious smell. You must have something. I do have something. That bum. He had to go into the forest, I see. Hey, give it to me now. Okay, give it to me now. It's supposed to be the phrasing. Ah, yes. If you see that fool, give this to him. It is the strongest medicine I have ever produced. However, this potion will not work on a monster. You received an odd potion. You don't know what's going on between this lady and that guy, but take it to the Lost Woods. Okay. They say that there is no medicine that can cure a fool. I guess that's true. Alright, cool. Ultimate potion! How about a hundred Oh, nice. I can get three. Yes, you got a blue potion. Yes. I believe I have enough, because I have a fairy. 
You got a blue potion. So the red potion fully heals your health, or at least a good deal of it. And the green potion fully heals your magic, and the blue potion fully restores both. So, hell yes. So yeah, we got three of those in the event that we run out of magic or and or hearts. And then we also have um, a fairy in the event that we run out of blue potions and hearts. So yeah. I think a blue potion is just better than having fairies. Okay, yeah, we gotta take the odd medicine back to Kakariko, or Kokiri. Yeah, Kokiri. Um, cut. Okay, we're back. I have the medicine. That guy isn't here anymore. Anybody who comes into the forest will be lost. Everybody will become a Stalfos. Everybody is Stalfos. So he's not here anymore. Okay, that's horrifying. <laughs> that guy isn't here anymore. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll be lost. Everybody will become a Stalfos. Everybody, Stalfos. He's not here anymore. Only his saw is left. That medicine is made of forest mushrooms. Give it back. Okay. So we traded it for a saw. Uh, yeah, so that guy just fucking died. Um, yeah, alright. <laughs> yeah. Um, you don't just become a Stalfos by entering the Lost Woods. Unless you do. Oh, fuck. Is that supposed to... Is that what's, like, flying around right now? Like, bacteria that turns you into a Stalfos? This Tuesday... It's Sunday right now, so I'm doing side quests on a Sunday. What do you know? Um, and this Tuesday, Steve gets added to Smash Brothers, and I bought the DLCs. Um, also known as I spent $15 on Steve and $15 on ARMS music. Min, Min Min was a nice bonus, and all the rest of the characters are probably going to be whatever. Um... Yeah, I don't know what other characters are getting added. I imagine, it. looking at the first fighter pass, it's going to be a lot of shit I don't recognize. <laughs> Didn't know Persona even existed before Smash Brothers. Um, I felt like Dragon Quest was going to get some representation, but I don't actually know anything about Dragon Quest. <laughs> anyway, we need to bring the poacher saw to this dude. I am Master Craftsman. Those Gerudo thieves, they broke the bridge. I want to fix it. Uh, but all of my workers are gone. They said working as carpenters isn't cool, and they went to the Gerudo's Fortress to become thieves. Hey you, if you're going to uh, the fortress, would you mind finding out where my workers, uh, what my workers are doing over there? Uh, yeah, sure, later. Much later. Uh, <laughs> hey, that saw, it's mine. But I thought I left that saw with my old lady. Oh well. Oh, what? Okay, so he's married to the old hag. Unle no, wait, unless you're the son of the old hag? Yes. Yes, because old lady... Yeah, okay. You're the son of the old hag, and then the old hag has some weird relation with the cuckoo lady's brother. Alright. My big Goron tool broke, so I was going to Goron City to get it repaired. Uh, you're coming here is great timing. Uh, will you give me my saw? Great kid, thanks. Sorry I can't give you something uh, any something is good in return, but take this anyway. Alright. Broken Goron sword. Visit Big Goron to get it repaired. Alright, so we yeah. We have this. It's the Goron sword is different the yeah, the broken Goron sword is different from the broken giant's knife. And um yeah. So now that we have that, we can go and get it repaired. As he said he was going to do. But he doesn't need the actual sword anymore. So I think you know where this is going. Because he has the saw again. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, yeah. We, we gotta go get this. So this sword is now our property. And we can go get it repaired. So that's the plan. Aha! Yeah, there we go. Look at me being smart. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Cool. No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's fine. I suppose I'll unpause now. Okay, so Big Goron is not the Big Goron that we got the Giant's Knife from. Big Goron's a different dude, and he's over here. Mm 
My brother opened a new store in Megdegoron. It's Metagoron's Blade Store. Oh, so he's Metagoron. This is Big Goron. Oh, Meaty Goron. Like, medium. Oh, that's dumb. Okay. <laughs> However, I am better at making blades. Hylian Carpenters praise me for my skills. I'm not lying. That broken knife, it surely is my work. I really want to repair it, but... But because of yesterday's eruption, my eyes are, in, are irritated. <laughs> there are fine eye drops in Zora's domain. Will you find them if you go to see King Zora? Please get the eye drops... You checked the you checked the broken Goron sword, and received a prescription. Go to King Zora. So now we have to pick up his prescription for eye drops. <laughs> this game. Also, there is no like fast way to warp to Zora's domain anymore because it's sealed by ice. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll just fucking walk. It broke on grass. Greetings, King Zora. I'm here to pick up a prescription for eye drops. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh, this is, well, hmm. Eye drops. You might say we have, uh, you might say we have them. You might say we don't. We do have the ingredients. If you take the ingredients to the doctor at the lake laboratory, he can make the drops for you. But you need to deliver them fresh. Can you make it before they spoil? Alright. <laughs> uh, you used the prescription and received an eyeball frog. Be quick and deliver it to Lake Hylia while it's cold. So yeah. Now we've got the eyeball frog. And that's what we make the eye drops out of. Which it's Pepe. Oh my god it's Pepe. <laughs> I'm like 60% sure this came out before Pepe. The, the comic Pepe's from. Yeah, 60 is not very short, but it's like above 50. Like, you know. If I were to, if I were like forced to choose between one or the other, I would choose this one first. Ah, fuck. I mean, this one came up before the abyss, so what do you know? That's our timeline. All right. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was really surprised when I found that out. Like, this came out... Um, before the abyss, and it's amazing. That's cool. So, and this was definitely a big enough game. I feel like one, at least someone on the on the team was thinking, like, this is suspiciously like that thing from that Zelda game that just came out. Um, I I imagine it's more of like, you know, an independent thing. I suppose I don't know. Like, uh, Ant's Bug's Life thing, I guess, where, like, they're not actually rip-offs of each other, they just... It's a coincidence that they happen to be thought of, like... People are like, oh, let's make an Ant's movie at pretty much exactly the same time. Animated, rather. So. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm excited for Steve... It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna play the the zombie skin because I I like the the entire day when Steve comes out. I'm just gonna be playing with friends, so they're probably gonna take Steve. Um, so I don't mind being zombie. Zombie's cool. Freedom. There we go. I didn't look in the trailer, but I wonder what Steve's eyes look like when you prepare a smash. <laughs> Be cool if they were pure white. Or just one solid color in general. Right. No! On him! Use it on him! Thank you. Oh wow, a rare Pepe! <laughs> I haven't seen an eyeball frog like this since King Zora, since Zora's domain froze over. These eyeballs are so delicious. Tonight I will cook fried eyeballs for the first time in a long time. Hoi 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 hoi. 
Such great stuff. Please say thank you to King Zora. Oh, what? These are for making big Goron's eye drops? Oh, how disappointing. You should have said so in the first place. Well, I'm mute, so it's whatever. <laughs> I don't know how Link's communicating this information. I, because he talks, that's... This is it. Here it is. This medicine doesn't have any pres uh, preservatives in it, so it won't last long at, at this temperature. Run as fast as you can to Death Mountain. You're young, you can do it. You traded the eyeball frog for the world's finest eye drops. Hurry, take them to Big Gorm before they go bad. So we have four minutes to scale Death Mountain. <laughs> and four minutes till the episode's over, uh, according to my timer. But, um, obviously I think we're going over because there's another step after this. So, whatever. I suppose we'll talk about Smash Brothers on the way there. I'm really enjoying it. I've been playing Min Min recently because I bought the DLCs, so it's the only DLC character I have. Well, I bought the Fighter Pass number two. I haven't bought Fighter Pass number one. I don't know if I even will. There are no characters in there that interest me. Um, the stages and the music kind of interest me. Like, the Persona music's pretty good. Um, Spiral Mountain is, as a stage is just amazing that it's in Smash Brothers. Um, as well as King of Fighters just being a general, like, good party stage. It's like a you know, it's a very gimmicky stage, and I like it. Anyway, but I've been playing a lot of Min Min, and it's great. Also, I've noticed that she's absurdly short. She's like 5'4". I, I don't know. Future me, put up her actual canonical height. Okay, thanks. Fuck. Um, but yeah, like, it's... She's very short. I think she's like the same height as Peach, which is amazing. Like, just, I don't know. <laughs> Weird. Because, like, ARMS characters are so, like, you know, long with their arms, like, that every, like, action pose they have, they're just, they have a massive surface area. So you'd expect them to be super tall as well, but they're just, like, really flat, I guess. I don't know how to describe that other than, I'm just making commentary for the sake of boredom, I think. Anyway. The two minutes to climb Death Mountain. I have my bow and arrow out because we are climbing the old-fashioned way. We're not going into the volcano this time. Because that, I think, took too much time. Um, so we're going around the outside. Yeah, that'll be faster. I can, I can confirm. Rather than going up and then down and then up and through. Um, yeah, it'll just be easier to go up, period. And then <laughs> that's it. Up and then up again, I suppose. We got like two minutes, it's going to be fine. Oh, not fine if I'm trying to pop my knuckles and controlling the joystick with my right hand. Very uncomfortable. There we go. It's not impossible to play like it's a regular controller, it's just... Yeah. My hands are much bigger now, so... You know, it's not as painful as it was when I first tried it. Like, what kid didn't try that? What adult didn't try... If, if it's your first time using an N64 controller, someone's going to try that. Like, you know, it's it's fine. But now I have big enough hands that I could actually get away with using it like that. I mean, I tried it like that for, like, when I was a kid. I tried it like that for a bit and then realized, like, oh, that doesn't work. There's a middle prong here. But, yeah. Okay. Nice. Sweet decorants. <laughs> Go away, you tech-type motherfucker. Okay. Now let's hope this, like, janky showing people items thing doesn't fuck us over for the next 40 seconds. Alright, we're officially going overtime. <laughs> According to my timer. I've been waiting for you with tears in my eyes. Please say, say hello to King Zora. I got your eye drops. Really? You brought the eye drops? I'm so relieved. I'm going to use them right now. Wow. <laughs> this is stimulating. It's working great. Now I can get back to my blade business. My work is very con uh, consistent. 
After a few days, please return. Wait, just patiently. Big Goron Sword. You claim... Uh, you got a claim check uh, for it. Okay. <laughs> you can't wait for the sword to be completed. So now we have to wait three in-game days. Um, or play the Sun Song six times. <laughs> uh, you do have to have some spacing. You can't just play it and then play it and then play it. You have to wait until the next... Like that. Play it again. So yeah. That's one. You're sitting through this. Two. Or just one and a half, I guess. And then this would be two. Hehehe. <laughs> I mean, this is just here as, like, more of a joke at this point. It's, it's like, how absurd can we make this? I'll just, like, make them wait. And the Sun Song is completely optional, so sometimes you just don't get the opportunity to do this. And that should be three. Nice. Claim check. That sword is my finest work. Oh, you handed the claim check and got the big Goron sword. This blade was forged by a master smith and won't break. So, yes. Double the power of the master sword, can't use a shield, and it is now invincible. It cannot break. Oh, yes. And now we just have the claim check forever, just in that spot in our inventory. Can't get rid of it. Um, but yeah, that was the longest side quest in the game. We now have the sword I am going to be using constantly. <laughs> I love this sword so much. You can uh, get it in Breath of the Wild if you have the 30th Anniversary Adult Link Ocarina of Time amiibo, as well as the um, Adult Link outfit. So, um, yeah, on my Side Quest Sundays series of um, Breath of the Wild, you'll sometimes see me using this because I have the ability to get it. Uh, and not when it can break, obviously, because... Which is why it's sometimes called the Giant's Knife um, in Ocarina of... Or in... Wind, or... Not Wind Waker. What the fuck? Uh, Breath of the Wild. I haven't played the game in a while. Oh, fuck yeah. The sword's awesome. Um, yeah, it's called the Big Goron Sword. Remember, Big Goron's Sword. Because we got the sword from Big Goron. People who only... Like, find out lore stuff for top ten videos and just read it on a wiki. They think it's called the Biggeron Sword. Which is the most annoying pronunciation ever. Um, yeah, okay. Also, in the 3DS version, I believe the sheath is longer. Because, um, yeah, it's not... <laughs> yeah, okay. And in uh, Breath of the Wild, it's longer as well. Okay, I'm done. I'm not playing this game anymore. I want to do anything else. Alright, good night, everybody.